Hi, today we are here to answer some questions about what it's like to be a children's librarian. My name is Miss Bridget and I work at Swickley Public Library and I am an outreach librarian, which is a very fancy term for saying that a lot of my job is going to different schools and reading to a lot of different classes. Hi, I'm Mrs. Farmery. I work at the Swickley Public Library and I'm the head of children's services. So when did you decide to become a librarian? In 1996, I got a job as a library assistant at the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh. I really enjoyed that job. I was there for almost four years, and it was then I decided I really wanted to become a librarian. Well, I decided to become a librarian about five years ago. Uh, after I had graduated from college, I have worked in the library for 12 years now, and uh, I realized that I wanted to keep doing that and that I really liked working around children, so that's why I became a children's librarian. Have you ever had another job? Oh, yes, yes. I have been a video clerk. Um, I was a hostess at a restaurant and I worked at a uh, retail store for six years. Yes, so in college, I was actually the manager of our radio station, uh, which was really fun and different. And then I have been a barista, was a barista for three years, and I also worked in a yarn shop before I uh, became a librarian here at Swickley. What education do you need to do this job? Well, um, I did graduate from high school. I also graduated from college with a BA in history. I studied Russian and Chinese history. Um, and then I worked for the Carnegie Library for a couple of years. And then I went back to school and got my master's of library science from the University of Pittsburgh. So to become a librarian, First, I had to go to elementary school, and then when I was done with elementary school, I had to go to middle school, and then I had to go to high school, and after all that, I went to four years of college where I majored in communications media, so I wrote a lot for our TV station and our radio station, did a lot of things with media, like TV, and then, after I graduated a couple years later, I decided I wanted to become a librarian. And so I got my master's degree uh, through an online program and that took about a year and a half. What is one thing you really like about your job? Oh, there are a lot of things I really like about my job. I really love the books and ordering the books and picking out books for special friends. Um, I love doing story time. I love going to the schools to visit all the kids. And I like to answer people's questions. The thing I like most about being a children's librarian is actually getting to see all my friends all day, every day coming into the library, uh, getting to go to a lot of classes. I meet a lot of people, I meet a lot of kids, and it's really fun whenever you all come to me and I get to see you in the library. What is one thing that is not so great about your job? I would have to say that sometimes putting the books away can be not so great about this job. You guys check out a lot of books, so we have a lot of books to put away. You know, sometimes it can be really hard to remember what I read last at the schools I'm going to visit. So sometimes I might come to your classroom and not remember the last book that I read or not be able to answer questions about it. Or sometimes I read the same book two months in a row because I forgot, because I see so many people. Do you have to wear a uniform? I don't necessarily have to wear a uniform to work. I do generally wear pants um, because I'm up and down all the time uh, for story time. I don't have to wear a uniform. I tend to dress up a little bit, but a lot of my job is moving around, so I need to be comfortable. Uh, that's my number one priority, uh, is that I am able to do my songs and dance around, and my clothes let me do that. Do you work in an office? I have an office, but I am never in my office. I'm usually out on the floor uh, in the children's department or in the story time room or visiting you guys in your classrooms. I don't work in an office. Uh, sometimes I am away from the reference desk, but 
I would say that anytime I'm not in the building actually visiting different classes, I am at the children's reference desk, which is right behind me uh, over there. And that's where I get most of my work done. What is your favorite picture book? Well, my favorite picture book honestly changes from day to day, but consistently I go back to Goodnight Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. This is the book I've probably read the most to my children and to the kids here at the library. My favorite picture book is Library Lion by uh, Michelle Knudsen and Kevin Hawks. It is really, really, really sweet and lovely and I wish that a uh, real life lion would come to my story time on Thursdays. Hi everyone, I am gonna take you on a quick tour of the library to some areas you may not even know existed. Let's go. So right now, as of this recording, the library is actually closed to the public, um, sort of like school is closed for you right now. And one of the interesting things that's happened is that all of the books that have come back for the last four weeks are actually waiting to be checked in right now. And it is so many books, let me show you. So these are the books that are waiting to be checked in. Now let's see, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards, and 10, 11, 12 cards. But we're not done yet because all of the books on these tables are also waiting to be checked in. We can't check anything in until the libraries are officially allowed to open. So right now, they're all sitting out just waiting waiting to be checked in and reshelved. One of the other things that is piling up are newspapers. Newspapers get delivered every day in some cases and for the time that we have been closed, no one has been in to read them every day. And so we are holding them here, but I think it's kind of funny to see how many have come since we have been closed. This is the book drop room. So when you come to the library and return an item, you can bring it inside and check it in there. Or if you go outside the building, which I will show you in a second, you can put it in our book drop and it actually comes into this room and then someone comes and gets it and checks it in for you. This is the book drop. This is the other side of that room. So when you put a book in there, it goes down into the room that I just showed you the book drop. This is the children's office. This is where we sometimes do our work if we are away from the reference desk and it is also where we keep all of the holiday DVDs when it's not Christmas or Easter or Halloween. That's where they all live and then the American Girl dolls are waiting. We have kids waiting to go out. All of the puppets and fun things we bring on outreach with us. All of the Children's Picture Book Choice Awards books are waiting here. And sometimes we do get work done back here. Thank you for joining us for our tour of the library and our question and answer session about what it's like to be a children's librarian.